Hey y'all, so no intro, no nothing like that. I want to get into the meat of the video. Uh, please excuse the mess in the background. That's my uh, Amazon package box. I got a few packages today, and then that's also my blue little hanger thing that um, you guys always see on my bed. Uh, but well, let's get into this. This video is directed towards um, Scooty because I know he banned me, the toxic little fuck. <laughs> So let's get into uh, the video as well. I do want to say we will be talking about corn stars in this video. So if you are a child, don't watch it. If you are a grown adult, you know what that is. So let's get into it. So the Riley Reed thing, that's a gag. That's a long running gag that I made up because uh, when um, Spiz was in online streaming, our are when he was but um was playing a game I didn't particularly like <coughs> random mass Minecraft game modes. Uh I would literally uh would make a joke that I'm going up to go watch the Riley or Riley Reed right now because she has better content than me. That's what it was at the end of the day, is a joke. A gag. It is not meant to be taken or taken seriously. I'm a man of Christian faith. Uh, I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and in my religion it um, states you can't think of those actions with married people so I don't condone it now I'm not going to say if I've seen her content but pretty much any grown adult has seen her content let's be a hundred a hundred percent honest here right so I do want you to know that that's a joke and that's not actually me having an infatuation with her we will then get into the infatuation that um, you think I have with um, us business, you know. First off, I want to get into a little backstory. Uh, I told Spizzis, which is why he puts up with more of my shit, because I, he understands on, uh, like, he understands the basis of my level and where I'm coming from, right? And I was very apparent with him, so he knew, so uh, he didn't think I was some weird-ass creep, right? Uh, getting into it, so my grandfather, rest his soul, he passed in 2009, he did everything for everyone, that he, he was happy if you were happy, um, one of the stories that are, are, that, um, my grandmother had told me about my grandfather that, uh, really stuck with me, uh, because keep in mind, he died when I was five, so I have not as much memories as I'd like to, but I'm thankful I do, because my other uh, cousins, because my cousins and one of my other siblings never really got to know him, but uh, the story is is that uh, his family has a heart condition problem where um, liquids and fluids get into their hearts, and of course that's bad. So uh, that's caused massive issues for him for them and that caused massive issues for him to the point to where if he didn't get a new heart he was going to die so they uh so he was on a waiting list and he would refuse to take a heart because uh he thought he was killing someone now uh that's not the entire story also as well was that the heart that um, they hadn't found a donor yet uh but at that point in time, uh, he didn't want to get it because he thought he was killing someone. And the fact that my grandfather was so kind that he would literally allow someone else to take a heart or to keep their heart or take it. I don't know why he thought that way. Maybe uh, it was because uh, he wasn't really thinking exactly straight clearly because what was going to happen is um if that person was dead that's how you get the heart it wasn't going to be someone who was living but uh he thought that way and i 100 percent like respected that deeply that he cared so much about another human being that he would uh do or that um he would choose to forego his own life to allow someone else to live and that's uh, is why I respect Spiz and Trino so much, like so much, because they provide me with uh, enjoyment. They provide me with entertainment. Like 
So my three big circles of pie in life is gaming, comic books, and television. And or I guess four because it's also family and friends, right? So that's four. Those are my big four slices of pie in my life, right? Uh, they, they are not in any order in general, but they all kind of just mesh together. And those are the three part the four big biggest parts of my life gaming and um our streaming are together obviously uh and esports and all of that other stuff and i think like sports like basketball is in television or in the uh television medium right so getting into it uh first off i want to talk about trino because this is going to sum it up for you as quick as possible you don't speak for trino you don't know him you never talk to him uh, so it's funny on how you try to make that same argument for me against Biz, which I, your argument is, is out there, but for Trino, it's not. I consider Trino a close homie to the point where he's not just an online friend. He's like, uh, one of my best homies and I'm, and I'm going to Florida. And when I do go to Florida, I'm going to meet him, right? I don't know when I'm going to Florida, but I'm going to set something up and we're going to meet. That's how close we are, right? He's one of my good homies. Uh, Spiz, I consider him an online homie who does very, who uh, I respect deeply and more as a content creator. I think of him like, I am I like to think of myself like Deku and uh, Spiz is my homie, right? I idolize him. I want to be him because he does everything he wants to do. The uh, us freaking same kind of stuff I want to do because of him. Of of me watching him doing something he loves in life, which is gaming, and I'm sharing it to the world. Just like All Might would save people with a smile on his face and make Deku have a love for heroes and want to be a hero, that is what I consider uh, m my relationship with um, Spiz as, right? And yes, of course, I um, consider him an online homie. I'm not going to say he's as close to me as I am with Trino, and I'm also his manager. Trino's man, our um, manager, so that's how that argument makes no sense, right? So I just have to clarify that so you do understand and you don't think I'm coming at our, at this from um, some kind of creep angle because I'm not trying to come at this from some creep angle. But I do want to touch in uh, why this whole topic was brought up was... Uh, so another homie of mine who is uh, one of my top 10 favorite um, streamers is making, or uh, he makes plushies. I had uh, been setting up my um, stream setup, right? I've been setting it up. That's why you can see the, the red because these are the red lights for my stream setup. Uh, I was setting up a new stream setup and I... Because uh, I bought a new PC and I'm getting ready to um, stream and I have been um, streaming. Uh, but regardless, uh, I wanted Gnosis because I played League and Gnosis is my favorite champ. I wanted a plushie of Gnosis on a little uh, on a shelf that I was going to put like behind me, like right below the, the Kobe jersey or right in between the kobe jersey and the kobe sign so then you all while i'm streaming could see my uh then or uh, him and uh, and the background and maybe some of my other champs i play uh it is essentially and maybe pops there instead as well and not just nauseous plushy but my homie because he's an amazing person told me hey that wouldn't be worth the money it would take too all right too much detail and, and cost too much like i'll do it for you but i don't want to uh like give you a raw deal kind of thing so i'm like okay i appreciate you for telling me that and i said hmm what else can i do right and i was like what if i put inspiration on my uh on my uh self instead now i ran through some ideas i'm like okay well who inspires me like I could do the obvious, like Albert Einstein, or, you know, Martin Luther King, da da. but um, who inspires me, and who can I do that is 
connected to the gaming world, and it's some is um people I care about, and I'm like, oh, shoot, why not do my favorite um streamers, right? And I thought it would be so cool to have, uh, to have my favorite streamers as plushies. Now, what I wanted to do is um, you guys can't can't um see it, but in front of me, behind my monitor. There's uh, another Kobe uh, photo. Now, again, you guys can obviously tell that I admire Kobe a lot for what he did in the same way I admire these guys, right? Uh, I was going to put another shelf right there and have them right there or put them on the back shelf somewhere back there that I'm in placing so that way you uh i can either have them right in like right in front of me so i can look at them as i'm streaming or right in the back as i am uh you know uh streaming as well so you guys can see and um then i thought of the bright idea okay what if i put them in the back but what if i also have uh the twitch ads so that way it's constant promotion while i'm streaming right i think it would be a really cool idea so i talk to him about it and he's like yeah i can do that right uh that would maybe be a little bit easier so in my opinion my top two favorite streamers are trino and spitz so i lumped them always together now this is important because uh i'm like okay let's go do those two but i'm going to be a completely honest here because i need to be and i want uh you guys to understand this a hundred percent apparently that this was a dickhead move to do i'm not going to lie and i'll take accountability for this i'm sorry for a freaking bicycle whatever but uh i know spiz doesn't really like stuff like this so that's why i honestly which i should have i'm not gonna lie but i didn't ask him. i just did it because the whole point was is if he didn't like it i was going to ship it to him through a p.o box or i was going to uh do something else with it like you know, put it up in this front thing so I can see it. Or I put it, or I'm, you know, honestly, if I'm not that, give it to my dogs or something as a toy, to be completely honest with you, right? If you really didn't like it as much, it would just be there for more of my benefit and not for the stream, and that way they don't have to see his face and all of that other stuff. That's why I didn't ask because it wasn't going to be used for Twitch or anything. Um, anything like that if he didn't want it to, right? Um, so that's why I didn't ask, right? But getting into the other people, I did ask some of the other streamers who I plan to do it to. I did ask, uh, I'm not going to say their names, but uh, one of them said he appreciated it and he thought it was neat that I, that, um, he literally just streams League, and I care about his content so much that I would make a plushie of, of him. Uh, uh, the guy who is making the plushies, who is also in my top 10, he basically had said uh, that he doesn't feel comfortable with it right this second, but because uh, he doesn't feel comfortable with making his own face. <laughs> so I said, okay, that's fine. I'll wait until you are, and then we'll get that settled out. And if you don't mind, right, kind of thing, right. But regardless, I just knew in my mind I I had to have a have a Trino and um Spiz one made because when I think of the pinnacle of um streaming and this is honest to God, I think of them. So if they're not there or if they're not there in some form of presence, it it would really not feel right to me, right. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, again. Or I will apologize for um sorry to um Spiz for not asking for his permission, but I do shit like crazy shit like this all of the time, and I guarantee you I wasn't going to put it in stream unless I got his permission. I was I wasn't just going to just put just um put his face on, on it. That's wrong, and you should do that. But me keeping it for purse, I mean, use like right up here. I know that you guys can't see it, but it's right up here. Is where I put it at. Is where I wanted it. At. Getting into um, you, Scooty, though, it pisses me off because 
you're so toxic all of the time, right? You are so toxic, like you talk about me being weird, and and um, that's why, I, and that's why I find it funny because uh, everyone in Spizz's community, and I'm sorry, I have a bit of a I'm stutter or cringe in some way, right? And sometimes, like me and you can probably overplay that and i understand you in that way where i think you might be overplaying your toxicity but you really are super fucking toxic right super toxic you don't let me rebuttal to you okay you were never there you were never on your streams i'm not mad that i'm not mod right i i understand that if um spiz wanted me to be mod then i would have been mod i i like that ship has sailed. I don't care that I'm mod. I just care about helping him out and being on stream. I can still tell him, hey, look, there is a bot. Can you get rid of this, this message? Or da da da. I, I don't like that he that you are a mod because you are toxic as fuck to people. You make people not want to be around you. And when you're on stream, it's just horrid. And you're never on stream anymore. You haven't been there. Like, I think I've seen you one time in the last three months, six months. I might be wrong, but I I can guarantee you I don't see you often. I am constantly there every single stream. Besides his family members and his IRL homies, I am the only other person there. And also, Sorby. I'm the only other person who is there. I am constantly there every single day. I will watch his streams even if... if I am streaming myself. I will give him a host, or I will watch him on my phone, and um, sacrifice of of my own Twitch chat because I use my phone to read Twitch chat and uh, watch him on my phone while I stream. I've done that several times. You are never there, so I don't like that you have authority and you do shit like this when you are never here. You were never here in the first place to do that. That's my only quarrel that I don't like about this at all, right? Uh, that's all I have to say about this. I do hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, I'm. This is 6 y Peace.